Christy Griffith with Shoes TV, hanging out with Claudia Espinola from Casa Couture at Rosie Pope Maternity on Montana Avenue in Santa Monica. Tell me a little bit about why you are in LA right now. So we got a call on Monday to come out and cast for Shark Tank and to introduce to them the adjustable footwear concept that we've been developing. So I was making a trip to LA anyway and I thought what better time to meet you in person and uh, get to talk to you a little bit than, than when I was already out here. So I'm excited to be here with you. I'm excited to meet you face to face. Yeah. And Shark Tank is one of my favorite shows. What's the audition process like? It's, it's nerve wracking because you're not sure what to anticipate and the lines are really long so the anxiety starts to build and you feel a little bit like you're on an American Idol or something. <laughs> Where are you based? So right now we are based in Boston. We started the company in New York and we uh, won a big business competition called Mass Challenge when we were in Boston. And when we won, we got free office space for a year, so we decided to, to stay there and take advantage of the resources in the area. Where'd you go to university? I went to Northeastern University in Boston for my business degree, and then I also studied in Milan, shoe design and construction, and studied at Parsons, um, I was studying fashion design towards a certificate on nights and weekends on top of my consulting job. Wow. Um, so I always knew I wanted to get into fashion at some point, I never knew it would be shoes. How did you focus in on shoes as opposed to clothing or accessories. I had a friend of mine who was pregnant and was about to have her baby shower. I hadn't seen her in months and she was a really fashionable girl, worked in a law firm, always looked great. And when I came up to see her for a shower, she walked around from her desk and she was wearing flip-flops. So I thought, you know, if there's, there's maternity clothes and there's fashionable maternity clothes like Rosie Pope that's addressing the fashion needs of expecting moms, but there was nothing out there in footwear. Let's look at it. So I came up with a construction for a shoe that can expand in length and width. So what that means is that the shoe can expand wow. lengthwise as your feet grow um, or if they swell throughout the day. But also all of our shoes have an elastic goring underneath that will also accommodate any width expansion. So in using this elastic goring material in our shoes that has this four-way release, it allows the shoe to expand a full size and in length and will allow the shoe to also expand in width. As we've talked to podiatrists and we've asked them, what, do you, what does a woman need in her shoe? She needs arch support, she needs a round toe box, um, she needs at least a half inch heel so that you're not leaning back on your back and mm -hmm. you know straining your back. So we've thought of everything. It looks like you have a good arch support in there. Yes. I can feel it. What's the material on that? So this is all uh, a poron material, mm -hmm. which is a memory foam that also has shock absorption and um, is, is temperature regulating. This actually is the same stuff that's used in the seats on the NASA shuttles to help uh, with the shock absorption of going into wow. space. Take me through the line. Sure. So we've got, you know, a lot of women think that they can't wear a heel during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And what our, the podiatrist that we've talked to recommended is that you not wear anything really with a higher than two and a half inch pitch. And so we've taken that into account. And this is an example of our, the Antoinette is what she's called. She's Pretty. very regal. Mm -hmm. um, all of our, our styles or names are based off of queens and princesses. And the Antoinette also expands. Wow. There's the length expansion that happens in the front of a the shoe. A high heel that grows. That grows with you. So this is an example of some of the heels that we have and some of the ballerina styles um, we, that we've featured. So some that are a little bit more in the spring tones, a um, little bit more flirty. This is the Margaret. This is the Grace. Margaret Thatcher, Grace Kelly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're onto it. <laughs> These are the Elizabeths. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. They're very cute. And we also, you know, just have different pumps and and we customize them a lot to our retailers. Tell me about this soft shoe bag. We found a wonderful organization out of uh, Lowell, Massachusetts, which is my hometown. Nice. And they are, it's called American Mojo, and they employ single moms and provide them with sustainable employment. So they provide them with health care and daycare that can help moms come out of poverty and be able to take care of their families. So every one of our shoe bags is made by a single mom who was sustainably employed by American Mojo. Thank you, Claudia, for showing us your shoes. Thank you, Rosie Pope Maternity, for letting us film here. You can catch a new episode of Pregnant in Heels every Tuesday night on Bravo at 10 p.m. Pacific. And where can we buy your shoes? They're available now online at our retail store at casacouture.com. 